All right, Brad, so let's go ahead and talk about AFC West, um, do our uh, our previews here. I've actually, you know, I've watched so much preseason. I don't even have my notes in front of, <laughs> in front of me because I was kind of going before the show. I was like, yeah, I can talk about them. So off the cuff, but here we go. So Bavada, um, so let me just hit you with it. We go alphabetical here. We're going to start talking about Denver over under, Brad, seven wins. Oh, boy, seven wins. See, this is a tough one because – you know, there's there's San Diego and there's Kansas City in their divisions. So L.A. Chargers, the uh, L.A. I know it's a tick. It's, oh, I did it again. I know, I know. Yeah, but yeah, you got the Chargers, you got Kansas City, right? Yeah, right. So you know, I would have to go with an under there, man. I think uh, you know, I was just saying how much I believe in Joe Flacco, and I think he's better than most. But you know, based on their division, I I'm gonna go with under you. I gotta go over, man. Um, so everything I'm seeing in the preseason, look, Fangio came over from Chicago. Mm. They famously piloted, you know, those those Bears defenses. They've just been great for a long time. Uh, Fangio finally gets a uh, chance in Denver, and you know, one of my big gripes about hiring the defensive coordinator is like, okay, yeah, but what kind of offensive coordinator are you going to hire? You're going to do like the uh, the thing that Wilkes did last year in Arizona and hire like freaking Mike freaking McCoy to run the offense, or what are you going to do? Well, they actually um, Elway and, and Fangio they went out they went out and they hired a really young kind of up and coming type type guy, a guy who's bounced around college and the NFL, but he runs the Shanahan system, which you would expect for, you know, of course, Elway to kind of harken back to the, his old days, his successful days. I've been watching this team. Um, Denver had a good defense last year when they didn't have an offense to support them. Uh, they have Von Miller. They have Chubb over, you know, basically wreaking havoc in the defensive line. They have good people in coverage. This defense translates pretty well from a talent point of view to Chicago's defense last year. You know, you got the Von Miller and Chubb kind of taking the place of uh, Khalil Mack, right? Mm -hmm. it, you just it, it, Chicago's defense is very talented. Denver's defense is pretty darn good. And so I look at that team, I think they're going to be hard to score on. And I thought that they were kind of hard to score on last year, honestly. Like, from a fantasy point of view, that defense is pretty good. Then I look at the offense, and you just said, like, we were talking about Flacco. I don't think he's as bad. Like, he gets criticized because he signed a big contract like six years ago. He's not that bad, and he's at 17 mil. That's a pretty decent contract for what he's doing. But here's the thing, man. This Shanahan offense, I can see that they can run the ball. They have Philip Lindsay. They have Royce Freeman. I like both of them. My only uh, hesitation from them from being fantasy stars is that they have each other on the team. So I don't know how right. what the snap distribution is going to be. To me, Philip Lindsay is electric. You know, he's a very good talent. The more they keep him on the field, the better they're going to be. I don't know what the personnel groupings are going to look like. I haven't gotten a beat on that yet. But they're going to be able to run the ball. And Flacco, dude, like Emmanuel Sanders came back. The I don't know mm. what hyperbaric chamber or what stem cell implants. Where this dude was got. he at, man? Dude, he, like he, he, I think he blew out his Achilles like halfway through the season oh. last year. He's back. And he looked incredible in week two preseason. He looked just as electric as he does, like always has. Mm. Flacco's hitting him on deep routes. Um, and, of course, he didn't play that that much, but Flacco looked sh as sharp as he did last preseason before his injury basically took. And Flacco early in, this year, in the year last year before Lamar Jackson took over wasn't that bad. So you sure. got Flacco, who's kind of dialed in, has a chip on his shoulder. You got Sanders back. You have Cortland Sutton. You have Philip Lindsay. You have Royce Freeman. And you have a young tight end in Noah Fant that I like. Dude, this team, I know I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I'm not saying that, but eight and eight for this team, a team that can play defense, a team that has the home field advantage in Mile High Stadium, um, a team that can run the ball at any time of year, cold weather, warm weather, uh, and a team that can hit their tight end, they can hit deep routes, and they can hit short passes. I have a hard time saying this team's less than eight and eight. I really do, man. They look, they look freaking good. Um, okay, I give you that. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it's just look. I know the division. I think Kansas City. We'll get to Kansas City and LA. A little bit and, and I still like those teams quite a bit and I think those teams are in Super Bowl windows um, you know regardless of, of Melvin Gordon's situation but you know Denver's good man they're good this is a really good division it's another freaking really good division <laughs> so I'm taking a lot of overs this year but I, I can't I can't go under on this team I just can't yeah I respect that man you know and I, I've been maybe I had a little bit of a bias because I, I feel like I've gone over too much yeah sure Sure, you know, and uh, we have gone think, we have gone over quite a bit, but there's a lot right. to like about these things, you know. Well, this it's is funny because uh -huh. you know they're a good team. It's not that I think they're a bad team, but I was just basing it around the other teams that they have to play yeah. regularly, you know, and it's not going to be so easy. It isn't. It isn't going right. to be an easy schedule for them.